Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Animaniacs. I am Devin, with me is Cody. Hey everybody. And we're continuing on with Azmanga Dio, episode 7, 8, and 9. Yay! I think that was the record time of getting the intro done. Yay! <laughs> Sweet! So yeah, so episode 7, 8, and 9 are the Culture Festival, New Year's Dreams, and the Sakaki episode. Mm-hmm. So we'll start with the Culture Festival. Oh, yes. And I like this because um, if you don't know the series, this does a loop where we'll have another Culture Festival. Okay. Later on. Just as spoilers. We kind of go for the same story beats again, but with different outcomes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so we'll be like revisiting the summer home again. We'll okay. be doing the culture festival again. We do the sports fest again. But with like different dialogue. Different dialogue and different like scenarios. Okay, I can I can live with that. If it was the same thing all over, I'd be like Yeah. Eh. But when you're rewatching this and you like you know certain events that happen but you mm -hmm. don't know when in the timeline they actually happen. Kind of makes it it makes it hard to predict what's going to happen next, which makes it great for a rewatch. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to throw that out. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, so this culture festival is... We get suggestions for the culture festival, and we only get two. Yeah. But somebody... But... I can't remember her name. Yomi? Yeah. The girl with the glasses, that's her name. Yeah. Puts up a suggestion box. Yeah. <laughs> um, who's the annoying one again? Come up. Okay, her. <laughs> He's like, hey, what do you put in here? Suggestions. Put five yen in. It's hungry. Put something in it. Puts five yen. It's a suggestion box. You don't put money in it. Well, according to the legend, it doesn't have a legend. <laughs> I'm like, Tomo, you make me hate you even more. <laughs> but yeah, our two suggestions were a cafe and a haunted house, and everyone's like, yeah, those are good. But we could probably do something more unique, different. <laughs> yes, yeah. then Pew Chan's like, let's check the suggestion box. <laughs> five yen falls out. Yeah, I love the bit of the five yen falls out. Toma picks it up, puts it in her pocket. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> you donated that. You don't yeah. get that. Yeah, but you should have donated it to herself. Pretty much. She's part of the committee. <laughs> oh, yeah. But then um, Pew Chan finds a piece of paper that says, Oh, we should have a... Stuffed animal exhibit. He's like, yeah. That, that's actually a really good idea. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's something different from cafe or haunted house, because let's, let, let's be honest. Those are kind of overdone. Oh, always. Like, if you've seen most anime that do the culture festival for school... Haunted house or cafe. It's usually cafe. Yeah. Haunted House I've seen very rarely, or it's oh, yeah. been, like, it's team is all hell. <laughs> boring! Yeah, it's, no offense, but it is boring. Yeah. It just screams unoriginal. Yeah. But, I like how it was described, it's like, we could have a culture, or a uh, stuffed animal exhibit, that way the stuffed, everyone can enjoy stuffed animals and make the stuffed animals happy. Yeah, and, and Kate Chan's like, who suggested this? Cut to a close up of Sakaki. I'm like, of course it would be you. Yeah. They wish to make her name anonymous. I'm like, yeah, I know it was you. Yeah, it's like, it's obvious who wants the cute thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think we cut to bringing the stuffed animals, setting them up. Yep. And uh, we have uh, our mascot. Yeah, a big white cat. Mascot outfit. Uh, yeah, and that was designed to fit Osaka because she's the average height of everyone. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> we discovered who it looks terrifying on. Yeah, I like that. First, we put it on Tomo because it looked all right on Osaka, but it didn't have like Tomo's like, yeah, you don't have any energy behind it. Let me throw too much energy behind it. Yep. <laughs> it just takes off running. Scary. Basically, yeah, basically causing havoc across the school. Runs that Yomi. Yeah. yeah. 
It's like, I'm tired, I wonder why. why. It's like, where did you go? I was like, oh, advertising. You know, how we'd ask of energy with a si- like a healthy heaping of scary. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I'm dosing ki- I was dosing the school with cu- cuteness. And a helping dosing of scary. That's what she's <laughs> Although, Pew Can Ward and oh god, it was yeah, yeah, it looked like it was dying and like creepily yeah. trying to move towards me. And the way Chio Chan makes like groans and moans in it because she's struggling to move in it. At that point, you're like, yeah, uh, yeah, get take that it off. off. Yeah. <laughs> You're not allowed to wear that. The way that she slowly moves it, too, yeah. she struggles to move in it. <laughs> uh, did someone call me? <laughs> <laughs> and I think uh, Sakaki made a bunch of stuffed animals or something? Uh, everyone made stuffed animals. Sakaki <laughs> made two, the cat and the bunny, or the cat and the dog. Even she couldn't tell which one was yeah. which. <laughs> and one looked kind of shoddily and made, and the other one looked fine. No, they're both kind of not great. Okay. They look just like little bean bags with yeah. animal ears on them. It's like, do you want to take the cat too? No. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I think the cat looks worse than the dog, and that's yeah. the joke is that Sataki and cats don't mix, mix at any capacity. Yeah. But I like the little girl looking at him and is like, if you want to take that, you can't. I don't, I don't want, want it. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's like, oh, that's going to be a shot in the heart. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then Pew Chan's like, at one point, is like, take a picture of me with the cat. Oh, yes, yeah, so this dumb joke. And then Takaki's like, no, me. Yeah. Click. And then like, who's in the cat costume? <laughs> Oh, pervert teacher! Great! <laughs> it's not true! <laughs> I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for Sakaki in a lot of I, moments. I That's I one of them. I do. I really do. And I'm like, as soon as I saw that, I was like, I hate you, teacher. I hate him, too. You're supposed to. <laughs> I think he's the villain. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> He's just very creepy. Yeah, he's really creepy. Yeah. If he didn't have his mouth constantly open. Or the heavy breathing. Yeah, he's just... Like, unfortunately, I know the turnaround for that joke Mm -hmm. about him, but I won't spoil it. Okay. Cool. Or I won't spoil it on camera. If you want to know afterwards, I can tell you, but... Sure. (laughs) Anyway, yep. we'll move on to the next episode, which is the dream episode. Oh. And we start off with Osaka. A great way to start off the dream episode. Great. Let's get really weird. Yep, acid trip dream. Perfect. Yeah. So she has a dream that Chiu Chen can fly with her pigtails. She's obsessed with her pigtails. Yeah, they're an enigma to her, and she has to figure them out. I think that's actually a running gag. We'll see more of that, like where she's like sitting behind Chiu Chan and examining them. I mean, we had that running gag in uh, Nichijo. Yeah, Nichijo, where the how the hair clips work. But I like I find Osaka's are more cute and less outlandish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Just. Oh my god, like, Chiu Chan flying around with that weird cat in the middle. Yeah. So, yeah, that is. It's dubbed as Chiu Chan's father. It's a weird cat blushy thing. You'll see it in the opening. Yeah. I do believe it just appears as a reminder that this is a dream sequence. Yeah. So don't, like. <laughs> nothing's really happening. Yeah. Don't freak out. Yeah. It's gonna get weird. Yeah. With that around. Oh, it got weird. Yeah. So then, Osaka comes to the conclusion that the pigtails control Chio Chan. Which he rips them off. Yeah. Which ends up killing Chio Chan. 
And in her guilt, she puts on the pigtails and Masaka what flies away, away from the cozy with a cry, leaving a dead Geo Chan on the ground. I'm just, I'm, I'm just like, yo, is he asked to trip over yet? Nope, because we're moving on to Tomo. <laughs> That's mother her. So I love Tomo's dream because, oh my god, it's the exact opposite of her life. Yep. Oh, I'm the best at everything! I'm beautiful, smart, I'm a superhero, everyone loves me, and I'm so modest about it. It was nothing. Yeah, I like it every situation. I was like, yeah, you wish! Yeah. She, like... <laughs> and classes yeah. Chia Chan in school where she beats up bank robbers, yeah. saves a cat. <laughs> Chia Chan's like, I got a big, fat zero! zero. <laughs> And Yomi was Basically, Tomo. Yeah, Yomi and Tomo James places. I'm like, you wish. Yeah. Teacher's like, oh, I'm so proud of you. She'd never tell you she's proud of you. <laughs> nope. She'd, She'd never tell anybody she's that. proud of anybody. <laughs> like modeling, I'm like, no way. And I love the joke that paid off. What the heck for? What the heck for? Oh, what yeah. the heck for? <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, I, I'm going to strangle you. What the heck for? <laughs> I love that it perfectly stopped and you're like, I'm going to strangle her. And then it just comes back with, what the heck for? <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of that perfect joke from Nietzsche Joe. Yeah. Turn off the light. Click. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I like... I wish Tomo's mom was like the Yuki or um, God, I can't remember her name. The active girl in Nichigo. Oh, I can't remember her name either. The one who kept uh, slapping her. Yeah. Yeah. The one who came in almost suplexed her. I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh God. All right, moving on. The next stream is Sakaki's. I do believe so. Yeah. I think those are the only three people we got to saw the dreams of. There's four. Really? There's Cowards. Yeah. Which one is Cowering? The one obsessed with the <laughs> I can understand why you may have blocked that one out of your mind. But we'll get to Sakaki's yep. first. Yep. And Sakaki's is basically just generally cute. cute. Except for, <laughs> then it gets weird when she meets Chio Chen's dad. Yep. Yeah. I, I like how she sees cat, goes to pet it. Not even in your dreams will the cat's let you touch it. Yeah. <laughs> Not it's... even in your wildest dreams will you get to pet me. <laughs> Which is sad. Yeah. But yeah, then goes to Chio Chan's house. Yep. Finds out her dad is that weird cat plush. Yep. Which, and then, it's like, do you like cats? <laughs> or no, we started oh, off with uh, Chio Chan offering a cat to Sakaki oh, yeah, yeah. because it needs a home. Yeah. And Sakaki admits in her dream that her parents can't have cats or animals that are allergic. Yeah. Pity. Yeah. Then we cut to them hanging out with her hanging out with this weird cat plush thing. Mm hmm. Which I swear has an actual name, I just don't know it. Yeah. And after a lot of conversation. Yeah. Not a lot, but a little bit. This cat thing is insightful and weird. Yeah, I've noticed. Yeah. I like the voice. I love the voice on the thing. It's very, uh, like a father voice. Like a foreign, but yet kind. Yeah. And at the end, it's like, I have to go now. My planet needs me, basically. Pretty much flies off. <laughs> yeah. It's like, but you're a cat. I'm like, I'm not, it's like, I'm not a cat. Yeah. Go find a real cat. Yeah. How do I do that? As you are now, you cannot get a real cat. <laughs> what do I do? You cannot ask me that. <laughs> oh, I love that. You can't ask me that. <laughs> but I did. Too bad. And then the goes to the mansion. Yeah, then we have a, it's like a second dream almost. Pretty much. 
where she goes to the mansion. We find out that Chiyo Chan has a penguin butt made. Which has brain freeze a lot. Yeah. And that, like, Chiyo Chan's dad is there. The cat thing's there. And they have a lovely dinner, but tomatoes are a weird obsession. Yeah, eat your tomatoes. I love tomatoes. It doesn't matter if you like or hate them. It's, eat them. You got to eat them. Are the tomatoes good, Geo Chan? Yes. <laughs> they're delicious. And that goes they're down so a red. Yeah, they're so red, and yet she says they're delicious. <laughs> then Sakaki's is like, so how do I go find a real cat? Oh, oh yeah. are you implying that I am not a real cat? I'm sure. sorry, please forgive me. I'm oh, not, I'm yeah. not angry because he's shaking violently and changing color. Yes. Yeah. Like, are you sure you're not angry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you imply that there are things as real and not real cats? <laughs> and I think at this point Osaka shows up. Yeah, Osaka comes up, shows up, like I'm here to wake you up. <laughs> He's like, huh? And then wakes up. He's like, well, that was weird. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll get this one yeah. coward stream. <sighs> oh, I-, I love how simply short it is. I do too. It is basically Coward dreams that like all her classmates are thugs. Yep. And out to get her. Yep. And then Sakaki comes in and saves her on a white steed. And at that point, I'm like, put it back in your pants. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's her dream. She's allowed to dream. I'm like, fine. But I like that she gets woke, like, because it's such a nice, lovely dream, and we're both like, how does this end poorly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is cowering we're talking about. Wakes up. Her mother's like, aren't you going out with your friends? <laughs> <laughs> it was all a dream continuation. It keeps screaming that while her mother's basically trying to wake her up. Continuation. Now, have you ever been in that situation where you had a good dream, but then you suddenly wake up and nope. you just want to get back into that dream? Okay. Nope. <laughs> I I've had that a few times where it's like, okay, that was a really nice dream. I'd like to go back to. I mean, I'm not going to say that hasn't happened. Yeah. <laughs> like I woke up once. I'm like, eh. Went back right back to sleep into the same dream. Yeah. But I didn't exactly want to. Fair enough. Oh, you had a continuation dream, yes, but you've yeah. never had a, oh, that was a pleasant dream, and then try yeah. to go back to sleep yeah. and get it back into that dream, and it's just never going to happen. Yeah, the one I had was like a nightmare of a demon variety. Yeah. And then they all meet up at the Shrine Temple. So there's a thing about New Year's dreams in Japan culture. I don't know the full significance of it. Yeah, I don't, I but I think it's like supposed to indicate how your year is going to go. Well. Yeah. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Like, there's some importance of your first dream of the year is what kind of shapes something. I, for, I don't know the significance. I'd like to look into that. That'd be cool. But we find out that Chio Chan didn't have a dream. Ah, Poor Chio Chan. However, though, they all confess. It's like, hey, you were in my dream. What was I like? Tell me. Tell me. Uh, <laughs> they're all like, you don't want to know. Yeah. I was like, Tell was like, got that cocky smirk on. It's like, oh, I could tell you, but you wouldn't like it. And, um. Osaka's like, I killed you in mine. <laughs> And, um... Look on her face. No one tells her when oh, that yeah, no. happens. Sakaki's like, the blush. Yeah, it's like, you were cute, but it was weird. And Coward's like, yeah, you were the leader of the gang of yep. thugs. And, uh, Yomi is yeah. walking up. There they are. What are you guys talking about? I'm like, I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> they look weird now. And finally, the Sakaki episode. I liked this one. This was a good one for just wrapping up the uh, three-episode watch. Yeah. This was very much just the day in the life of Sakaki and how she struggles with, like, she 
has this cool aura around her, but she wants to be cute. Yeah. But because of her height and, like, stature, she cannot. Yeah. The best way she, um, symbolization of that is when she pictures Chio Chan with the ribbons in her hair. And then herself. Then herself. And he's like, the contrast. I look dumb and scary with ribbons in my hair. I didn't find that scary. No, I was like, that's not a bad look. It's... Yeah. I can understand it's a little awkward. Yeah. Compared to, like, Chio Chan. Yeah. But I love how her whole thing, part of her thing in this episode is trying to take a picture of a cat. Yeah. I'm she, like, have you ever tried to take a picture of a cat before? Not as easy as it looks. No. You really gotta get that cat's attention. Yeah, no. Even then, <laughs> we, we try to take pictures of, the, of our dogs all the time. Turn the heads, walking away. Sure. But yeah. I'm just not good at it, because I can take pictures of my grandmother's cat all the time. Is it just lazy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if it's a hyperactive animal, it's not going to sit still for oh, a camera. No, no. It doesn't even know what a camera is. <laughs> it's just like, I know you're taking a picture of me. I'm not going to let you. And I love the best way to describe a cat freak out with the anime, like, dash all over the freaking place. Yeah. And all I can see is the blur lines. In an alley to boot. Yeah. I was like... Yeah, that's accurate. If you ever see a cat freak out, that's kind of how fast they move. Yeah. So yeah, she does all that. Goes to school, find it, finds out it's your can birthday. Yeah. She'll be 11 years old this Sunday. Yep. And, and this leads into the the thing I had, had thought was a dream. <laughs> I really thought this was a dream. And then you're like, nope, not a dream. Yeah. Q Chan is like, give me my height! Give me my height! Oh yeah, so Osaka makes the weird comparison that <laughs> yeah. the reason Sakaki is so tall and Chiyo Chan is so short is because Sakaki is siphoning away Chiyo Chan's height. Yeah. And Chiyo Chan being a young child and kind of being mischievous in this one. Mm-hmm. Is like, you're taking my height, aren't you? Give it back. Yeah, please give it back. Starts and, yeah. jumping at her. Yeah, because like, Sakaki has no idea how to handle that situation. And like, Chiyo Chan's taking advantage of that. Oh, yeah. I thought that was a dream. Yeah. I was like, no, this is Chiyo Chan being like a bit of a mischievous child. Okay. Playing a prank on Sakaki. I'm like, oh, you little crap. Yeah. I mean, that's harmless. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is very awkward for Sakaki. It's not yeah. a hanger. And then they were like, oh, let's meet up at your house for your birthday. Yeah. So, Sakaki is out... We'll just skip to Sakaki out shopping for a gift for Chiyo Chan. Yep. Looking for a cute thing. Like, a cup. A cup that was kind of wonky that... No, don't buy that. Then. <laughs> why, are that why is that being sold? Yeah, no. Uh, a small bracelet, but it's like yeah. a little too small. And yeah, it won't fit her. Well, it wouldn't fit her. It yeah. just looks really cheap and yeah. not a lot of thought behind it. Yeah. Saw a book. Saw a book and went to go get it, but another child grabs it and takes and buys it. I'm like, a soccer puts her hand on I'm like, don't. That never ends well. Yeah. Then. Then. Does the worst thing you could do. Finds a cloggy. Well, first she finds sees a girl with a bunny backpack and decides just to follow this bunny backpack all over the place. I'm like, ah, oh, don't make it. Ah, oh, you're 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 a stalker. Okay, you can follow it for like a few minutes, yeah. but stop. It's gonna look bad if you don't. Uh, when you were like, when she went around the corner, you're like, okay, time to stop. Yeah, but she didn't. No, I was like, Followed so she <laughs> like. Okay. It's fine if you're going in a straight line, and then, because it looks like you're just going the same direction. Yeah, but but as soon as she turns a corner, you stop. Yeah. <laughs> but didn't. Nope. Yep. But just followed her to the claw machine, which showed stuffed cats. Yep. So. Alright, yeah. I'll try my luck to get a cat plush for Chio. Oh, that's <laughs> Grabs one. Picks it up. You fail! Yes, we made a joke, like, Eric... 
I would love Cody's voice just saying, you fail or you suck. Every time, at a claw machine, every time you, like, you're messing up. <laughs> it's like, you fail, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. Feel free to clip that, and if you make a claw machine, go ahead and use that. Just let us know you did. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's too funny. It is. You suck. <laughs> I was like, no one would punch a machine hard. <laughs> <laughs> but third try. She gets two. Yeah, she gets two cats. So I guess um, win-win? I mean, yeah. she put 300 in, which is three bucks there, money. Yeah, so not too bad. The thing only costs a buck. So I guess it's a win-lose here. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we'll go to the Chio Chan party. Yeah. And Toma makes this a competition of who got her the best gift. Opens her box. Chio Chan opens her box. Feeling! Yeah, the word feeling is written on the box. I'm like, I'm going to murder you. <laughs> so he's like, alright, so that joke didn't land. Here's your real gift. It's a wand, so you can wish yourself to be taller. Even I know that crap's not real. Yeah, it's like, even I'm old enough to know that's not real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh perfect. I like, you have no idea the subject you just bought for, did you? <laughs> You're just like, oh, it's a kid. Let's buy her a kid toy. Yeah. Like, Chiro Chan is a prodigy. She's smarter than the average kid. Yeah. Uh, Yomi gives her her gift. It's a book. We don't know what it's about, but yeah, no. it's the more appropriate thing you would give Chio yeah. as an intellectual kid. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, Sakaki gives her the cat. Yeah. And it's Wait. like, what should I name it? Oh, it has a name. Momo Petit. Oh, there we go. And she's like, oh, you need your stuffed animals too? Yeah. yeah. Momo Petit has a, is the younger of two sisters. <laughs> Which she has the older sister. I was like, you should. Sakaki didn't just make names, she creates lore and facts. Yeah. Like... <laughs> yep. Um, Osaka's like, why'd you pick a cooler name? And Sakaki's like, what? Yeah. No, like, unacceptable. <laughs> no! Yeah. And the kicker is Osaka's gift the cat. Yeah, the cat plushie Mom's from cat. Sakaki's dreams just appears. Yes. Yeah. Father cat. Yeah. The father of Momo and her sister? No, no yours. Yours. What? <laughs> yeah, uh, Sakaki, you never told her about your dream, so... Yeah, exactly. And then Tomo. Oh, yeah, Tomo finds the uh, Giants doll yep. for the baseball team, the Giants. Yeah. You like the Giants? Yeah, they're going all the way. No, they're not. Yeah. Like, as soon as I saw Chiyo's face, I was like, oh, Tom was going to get a fist to the face. Yeah. So, we all have a baseball fan. Billy is a Blue Jays fan. And yeah. we know if you insult Blue Jays in front of Billy, you're, you're expecting a fight. <laughs> you're probably going to get punched. Yeah. So, baseball, like, sports fans in their team, they're very loyal to their teams. Mm -hmm. And will not take any shit from it. Yeah. Anymore. I'm like... Tomo, she's going to push you out the window. Yeah. I love that joke where they're like walking in the park and she's like, there's a shortcut this way. It's like goes from like kind of a creepyish woods. Oh, into the creepy woods of death. Yeah. Cool. This is where I take all the people who hate jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that joke. <laughs> and then they see a nice sunset. Yeah. And then what does Sakaki do? Daydream of them being in the clouds, having fun and laughing. Yep. That's a trip dream. Kinda. It's a daydream. Oh, it's yeah. fun. The laughing goes on a little too long to be comfortable. Is yeah, the, it, 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 it became creepy. Yeah. And then they ran, tripped, and... I like your joke. You killed the dog. Yeah. They were chasing after uh, the dog, which... The dog gets along with Sakaki. That's the other thing. We oh, yeah. kind of glossed over. This dog likes her. Yeah. It's this dog like, loves everyone. It's one of those, like, yeah. I'm friendly dogs. 
Oh yeah, we did also gl- glaze over one other thing. Yeah. Nothing to do with cats like Sakaki. Yeah. Oh no, we mentioned that at the start of this. I, I I was more like I was more referring to the cat robot toy she was gonna buy. Oh yeah. She goes to she sees a display for cat robots and it's like, Oh those are cute. Goes to touch one and short circuits and smoke uh, billows out from it. I'm like Oh, even fake cats hate you. Yeah. <laughs> Like, the running joke is this that Sakaki and cats do not co- connect in any capacity. Apparently. But, yeah. And I think that ends it. Yep, the that's episode. it for those episodes. I enjoyed the first and last episode. The dream episode is a very weird segue or not segue but like transition yeah it was really strange yeah it's like I get like dreams are supposed to be weird so oh yeah and I think it was just the writers having fun with oh yeah you know weird concepts that we can't do in real life because <laughs> they're too weird reality yeah reality stops us yeah I liked it but my favorites were the the Culture Festival was fun. It's bare, a very much average episode. Yeah, I really like that. And the Sakaki one is a very nice way to understand Sakaki. Oh yeah, that was my favorite. I yeah. enjoyed that one this week. But with that though, we'll call the episode here. So thank you all very much for watching. Until next time, have a good one, guys. Peace out.